Hello everyone, welcome to module 3C on mindfulness interventions and their results. Let's talk about participants and method of the first research I'm talking about. Uh, in that, an elementary school students from fifth grade ages 10 and 11 participated. This school was from a high performing, high socioeconomic status suburban school in Northeast of United States. Here, the program uh, design was based on mindfulness awareness practices and self-regulated learning. The scale used was perceived stress scale for children. And there, there were some other subscales used with it. And then there was another subscale used for test of everyday attention for children. Also, the researcher used Google Classroom Diary and Google Forms. As we learned in previous modules about self-regulated learning, it is important to understand the three cyclic phases and then uh, a participant to reflect back on what they are doing. So that's why it was designed in a way that students can fill up their classroom diary and uh, respond to surveys on the Google Forms. What was the goals of the study? Basically, the researcher wanted to study how the practice of impacts students' self-regulated learning state during the homework time, if it if continued use of self-regulated learning helps a student, if uh, this kind of practices combining it with mindfulness, does it help student reduce stress? And uh, if a student practices mindfulness for a long period of time, does it help student improve their attention span? So from the studies, the results showed that the SRL lessons and structured SRL diary positively helps learning outcomes. However, uh, this study wasn't able to establish benefits of SRL or mindfulness interventions. Whereas the past studies have found some evidence to, for both of them to help a student. The author mentions that at home practice of mindfulness helps in cases where one sees positive results. So it's important for one to actually practice mindfulness outside of school compared to just practicing it within the classrooms. And past studies on the students in secondary school and colleges have shown positive relations between self-regulated learning and performance improvement. So let's talk about the second study, which is acceptance and commitment therapy. These studies came from a Canadian university called UQTR psychology department. There are two studies. The second one was web based ACT intervention to reduce academic procrastination. So how did they organize this study? The first study from 2013 had 11 university students were, who participated. The intervention consisted of three 90 minute sessions of psychoeducational acceptance and commitment therapy. The second study from 2018 was web-based and had 133 participants in total using pre-post research design. And the intervention was provided via a secure website spanning over nine weeks, asking participants to complete eight modules. So what were the goals of these studies? Both the studies were revolved around using acceptance and commitment therapy. The first study was about building five core skills to reduce procrastination, which are being mindful of procrastinatory behavior picking the right direction by clarifying your values, distancing oneself from negative thoughts, taking action, and accept discomforts related to academic tasks. The second study had different eight modules which evolved around similar principles. This study targeted on educating participants on ineffective behaviors, picking directions according to values, identifying excuses that one may take while 
trying to postpone things, taking actions so that they stay on the right path to complete their tasks, willingness to face discomforts and act on your environment using Pomodoro technique. By the way, Pomodoro was also part of the first study we discussed and diffuse from thoughts and be present in adversity. So what are the results of these studies? Both the studies concluded that the studies are feasible and acceptable. And we found that making such interventions web-based are more convenient for both students and researchers. You can see that there were more participants when they, do, when they did a web-based version of this. And the intervention may be effective in reducing academic procrastination with a medium success size. So it did prove some positive correlation between passing through such acceptance and commitment therapy and being able to do well with your studies. Thank you very much for your time. Here are the citations from the papers. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.